What's good, people? As always, your boy, your black hippie. As you can see, I am preparing, you know, my hair for this cut today. So I'm just picking out the little hairs, you know what I'm saying, get them ready, you know, so they where they need to be. So when I, you know, band them up, um, they're good to go. So, you know, I don't know what you do with your locks, but this is how I, you know, prepare mine when it comes time to, uh, you know, just do a little upkeep for new growth, you know what I mean? So as you can see, I got some rubber bands, you know what I mean? Try to part my old hairs to see where the lines are, you know what I mean? And, um... It's just something that I do, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is live. So as you can see, I'm combing out. I'm combing down the hairs. So when I place my rubber bands in, um... They are where they need to be. I don't care about the parts being perfect. Oh, <coughs> goodness. Uh, but, you know, this is how I do it. They ain't got to be perfect. They just, you know, where I need them to be. So I go all the way around the head, you know, on both sides. And, you know, making sure... My guideline is at least is where it needs to be. Got to make sure the front and the back is even. It's very touch and go. You know what I mean? So for me, it's not about being perfect. You know, I grab about an inch or so of hair, band it up. Excuse me for, you know, my voice in the background. <laughs> Grab a little bit of water. As you can see, I'm just grabbing parts of the hairs. And, again, just following that guideline. And just banding up about an inch or so of hair. Tying it up. I'm going to do this all the way around the head, um, on both sides. I still want to keep my, uh, my locks to be high, you know what I mean? We're not going all the way down the back of the head with the bands. We're just going across the, the high part or the mid part of the top of the head. The rest of that we're going to cut off, as you'll see. Um, further down in the video. And all of this is self-taught. You know what I'm saying? Like I was doing this for years. And now it's popular. You know what I mean? Before, you know, nobody was really doing tutorials on this, you know what I mean? At least men weren't doing tutorials on this. I've been doing this for years, you know, since a teenager I've been doing this. And 
I've always been doing my own hair. I just don't like too many people touch my hair. You know what I mean? I believe your hair is energy, it's power, it, you know, it connects you to a lot of things. So having people touch your hair, I don't think it's a very healthy thing. But, you know, to each his own. That's my own beliefs. But, you know, like I said, just trying to keep the hair in line, you know, staying on my guide as I go around. As you can see, I'm like kind of still pushing little fray hairs down, but continuing to the back. Read up on some more bands, as you can see. I appreciate you guys watching, you know what I mean, it took some time for me to do this, um, I enjoy doing this, you know what I mean, it saves me time, it saves me money, and it came out good, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, if you're afraid to learn something new, I would say try it either which way, you know what I mean, you can't go wrong with uh, learning something new for yourself, or, you know, getting better, that's something that you do. I've been having locks for years. And I've maybe had, throughout the years, maybe eight different sets. My hair grows very fast. So with me putting these rubber bands in, my hair is going to grow a lot quicker. For them to catch up to locks that are already locked up or wicked up on the top of my head. And as you can see, I'm starting on the next side so that when I get to the back of the head, the hair is a little more even. I can uh, band up the rest of the top of my head before finishing and going into, you know, shaping up and cutting down the rest of the hair. So I did this very quickly. I was going to speed the video up, but, you know... I would rather just let it play out, let you guys truly see um, what's going on in the video because, you know, this took some time and energy to get this done. So, if you're still watching at this point, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Boom. Another one in. That focus. I look crazy right now. But we getting there. The finished product looks so much better. This really didn't take me too long to do either. Maybe like a half an hour or so. I move quick. I put the bands in. I know where I want everything to go. How it needs to look. Like I said, I don't look for perfect. Because again, I'm, I'm a semi-freeform type of person. It doesn't have to be perfect. But, you know, in some aspects, I do want it to look a little bit neat. I know I do have my days where I just don't care how my hair looks during most of the week because, you know, working, running around, taking care of family, you know, throw a hat on for most days. But when it comes time for it to look right, you know what I mean, I shape it up. Today is one of those days, you know, 
I just shape it up and uh, gotta get it back, you know, in organization. So here you can see, again, I'm just finding my parts. I'm not using no combs, no brushes. I mean, I'm just taking wherever the hairs are and just putting them into the area of where the bigger locks are. I'm telling you, I've done this for uh, eight, nine plus years. I've been uh, doing my own locks. If anybody who need their locks done or want their locks started, you know, if you're on your journey, you know what I mean, feel free to hit me up. Let's link. We'll talk about it and we'll get you right. I, I really like, I really enjoy doing this. Like, it's no... If ends or buts about it. It's a pastime thing. So focused. Like my face is so serious. Like I can't even like it's so serious right now. I'm focused. Grabbing up a few more rubber bands. You know I mean, get those little back ones. I think all together, maybe got like a good 15 to 20 locks now. Including the ones I just banded up. It makes like 20 of them. On the top, I maybe had like nine.
So now I'm going to finish up the little area in the back. Now that I got the top in order, um, you'll be able to see the back, you know, once I turn around or, you know, once I do the back side when I cut. I ain't really used a lot either to uh, do this. <clears throat> Just pretty much just use, you know, my clippers. So that's how they look, you know what I mean, from the top. Um, I definitely got to crochet them at some point again. But, you know, like I said, just get them in order at this point. Finish up the back <clears throat> and uh, continue what I was doing. You know what I mean? Just bend up the back. Almost done. <clears throat> Again, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you guys uh, viewing and you know enjoying this feed. Again, like, share, comment, uh, join my webpage, theblackhippylife.com. Link will be in the bio. If you're on Instagram, hit me up. And, uh, you know, I'll keep it moving. So, now that I got uh, everything together, as you see, I got the clippers, and then grab my uh, guards right quick. Drop that bitch. Dropped all of them on my foot. It's all good. Plays fuck up. So I only use two different guards. Um, I use the one, and I think I use a uh, a half. You know, I use the half for the back, and I use the one for the sides. I'll be showing you which guards I used any which way so you guys can see. But I only use two guards, um, you know, just to cut down the loose hairs or the hairs that I wasn't keeping. So again, as any barber would do, you want to comb or brush the hairs down that you're about to cut. Just so, you know, the blades can catch on to it. So as you see, I'm showing you what, uh, you know, I think I had the uh, open. So the first one, to the half open 
if you don't know what open is on blades that you do to do your research. I had to grab my little mirror so I could see the back of my head. It's kind of dirty, so you know, let me wipe that thing down. You know what I'm saying? Let me wipe that thing down. So fresh and so clean. So, start from the back because that's where most of the hair was. And the mirror is be in front of me. So, I can't move the mirror, so I gotta rotate myself. You want to keep a consistency. I mean, this is why I say it's great to, uh, you know, have the guards on there if you're not comfortable with cutting your own hair. Because this way, it allows you to cut, you know, in, in, in parts and not have to do it all at once. And you can take your time. You can go back. You can look at it and, you know, adjust how you would like to adjust. But because I know... How I want mine to look, you know, I know directly what to do and what cards to use to, you know, to achieve the look that I'm looking for. Forgive me for not having too much of a great light. Um, I tried to set up my tripod and my circle light, but it just wasn't, you know, working how I wanted it to, so I just didn't use it, but, um, in post, I'll try to brighten it up a little bit, and hopefully that'll help. As you can see, I'm trying to brush all the heads off, neck and back. You know, again, going through with the comb, just brushing heads down. So, this was the first guard. Like I said, I was going to show you guys what it was. So this is the first guard I used on the back. This was again a 4.5 or a half. So the next one is one guard. You know, brush that thing off, get them heads out of there, you know, before you start the next. So we're doing the one guard, um, closed.
And this is just to clean up, you know, the back, make sure everything is even and clean. You know, just be consistent, you know, go all the way across from left to right, you know, keeping, you know, the clippers close to the to the head and just in a straight motion, in a clean motion, just go straight down. You know, again, as always, clean as you go. So I decided to just use the one guard in the front along the I thought someone needed to use the bathroom. So continuing on, just to shape up the sides. Again, this is just cleaning up, you know, the front and sides. You can always clean out your clippers while using them before you do the next day or you make your next move. You know, what I mean? you want to be strategic about you know placement and the look. So with these clippers that I have, they also come with a trimmer. Okay, my bad. Minor, you know, setbacks. You go, give me a second. Give me a second. We back. Oh, what's good? No harm, no foul. I always believe in, you know, cleaning up as you go. So when you're done, it's less of a you know, a headache to fix it, you know, get out the way. So we almost done. Getting behind the ears, trim up behind the ears, and then neck.
These are the little, you know, details. You know, the things that make the cut look better. It's the small parts. As you see, that little clip is the detailer or the small trimmer. This little detailer I didn't really like so much. Um, it just wasn't cutting how I wanted it to cut or how I thought it would cut. But it did a little bit. It was it was a little bit of a help. I don't know about you, but most of my little hairs are on my neck. So, you know, it did get those little neck hairs that be growing and that serves no purpose. Excuse my back, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but you know, that's just the way the camera's set up. really hope you guys enjoy this uh, feed and, you know, what I've showed you guys so far. Um, we got a few more minutes left to the products being done. So, you know, before the video is over, before I forget, again, like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, let me know how you guys felt about this clip. If I should do more. Um, if you enjoyed it. If you think it sucked. Uh, you know what I mean? All feedback is good feedback in my book. So, you know, enjoy the rest of this video. What's good, people? As always, your boy, Black Hippie. As you can see, I am preparing, you know, my hair for this cut today. So I'm just picking out the little hairs, you know what I'm saying, get them ready, you know, so they where they need to be. So when I, you know, band them up, um, 
They're good to go. So, you know, I don't know what you do with your locks, but this is how I, you know, prepare mine when it comes time to, uh, you know, just do a little upkeep for new growth. You know what I mean? So as you can see, I got some rubber bands. You know what I mean? Try to part my old hairs to see where the lines are. You know what I mean? And um, it's just something that I do, you know. Excuse me. <coughs> this is live. So as you can see, I'm combing out. I'm combing down the hairs. So when I place my rubber bands in, um, they are where they need to be. I don't care about the parts being perfect. <coughs> Goodness. Uh, but, you know. This is how I do it. They ain't got to be perfect. They just, you know, where I need them to be. So I go all the way around the head. You know, on both sides. And, you know, making sure my guideline at least is where it needs to be. Gotta make sure the front and the back is even. It's very touch and go, you know what I mean? So for me, it's not about being perfect, you know? I grab about an inch or so of hair. Band it up. Excuse me for, you know, my voice in the background. Grab a little bit of water. As you can see, I'm just grabbing parts of the hairs. And, again, just following that guideline. And just banding up about an inch or so of hair. Tying it up. I'm going to do this all the way around the head, um, on both sides. I still want to keep my, uh, my locks to be high, you know what I mean? We're not going all the way down the back of the head with the bands. We're just going across the, the high part or the mid part of the top of the head. The rest of that we're going to cut off, as you'll see. Um, further down in the video. And all of this is self-taught. You know what I'm saying? Like I was doing this for years. And now it's popular. You know what I mean? Before, you know, nobody was really doing tutorials on this, you know what I mean? At least men weren't doing tutorials on this. I've been doing this for years, you know, since a teenager I've been doing this. And I've always been doing my own hair. I just don't like too many people touch my hair, you know what I mean? I believe your hair is energy, it's power, it, you know, it connects you to a lot of things, so having people touch your hair, I don't think it's a very healthy thing, but, you know, to each his own, that's my own beliefs, but, 
you know, like I said, just trying to keep the hair in line, you know, staying on my guide as I go around. As you can see, I'm like kind of still pushing little fray hairs down, but continuing to the back. Read up on some more bands, as you can see. I appreciate you guys watching, you know what I mean, it took some time for me to do this, um, I enjoy doing this, you know what I mean, it saves me time, saves me money, and it came out good, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, if you're afraid to learn something new, I would say try it either which way, you know what I mean, you can't go wrong with uh, learning something new for yourself, or, you know, getting better, at something that you do. I've been having locks for years and I've maybe had throughout the years maybe eight different sets. My hair grows very fast so with me putting these rubber bands in my hair is going to grow a lot quicker for them to catch up to the locks that are already locked up or wicked up on the top of my head. And as you can see, I'm starting on the next side so that when I get to the back of the head, the hair is a little more even. I can uh, band up the rest of the top of my head before finishing and going into, you know, shaping up and cutting down the rest of the hair. So I did this very quickly. I was going to speed the video up, but, you know... I would rather just let it play out, let you guys truly see um, what's going on in the video because, you know, this took some time and energy to get this done. So, if you're still watching at this point, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Boom. Another one in. That focus. A little crazy right now. 